Unit seven, traffic. Unit seven. Page six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hi, Wan. How are you? Hi, Mai. I'm okay, thanks. How about you? What did you do yesterday? I'm good. Yesterday morning, I stayed at home and played with my brother. In the afternoon, I cycled round the lake near my home. Oh, good. That sounds really healthy. By the way, how do you come to school? My dad usually drives me to school. I used to go on foot when I was in primary school. But the new school's too far to walk now. How far is it from your house to here? It's about two kilometers. How long does it take you? About ten minutes. Sometimes, when there are traffic jams, it takes longer. Do you come by car every day? Yes, except when my dad is busy. Then I come by bike. I see. Hey, Mai, how about going cycling round the lake on Saturday? Great idea. Can you come to my house at three p.m.? Okay, Mai. I can't wait. See you then. Unit seven. Page nine. A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to sounds e and a. E. Left. Enter. Ahead. Present. Helicopter. Center. Never. Seatbelt. A. Plane. Way. Station. Train. Indicate. Mistake. Pavement. Break. Unit seven. Page nine. A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen to these sentences carefully. Single underlined the words with sound e, and double underlined the words with sound a. One. Does your bike ever break down on the way to school? Two. It is not very far to the railway station. Three. We must always obey traffic rules for our safety. Four. You must keep to the left when you are in the UK. Five. They are waiting for the next train to come. Unit seven. Page eleven. Communication. Activity two. Why do these countries drive on the left? Listen to the text, then write your answers below.
The right side is the wrong side. Do you know that there are many countries in the world where the traffic rule is to keep to the left? Some of these are the United Kingdom, Australia, India, Thailand, Malaysia, etc. There are different reasons for this. One is that some countries used the same system as the UK. Another is that many people are right handed. Unit 7 Page 13 Skills 2 Activity 3 Now listen to the passage and choose the correct answer. The most common traffic problem in cities around the world is traffic jams. Sao Paulo in Brazil has the world's worst daily traffic jams. According to reports, the historical congestion record was set on June 1, 2012, with 295 kilometers of vehicle queues around the city during the evening rush hours. Some other big cities also suffer from serious congestions in the rush hours. The main cause of this traffic problem is the increase of the population in big cities. So the number of people using the roads has risen several times. The second reason is that the roads are narrow and sometimes are not good enough. Also, many road users have no respect for traffic rules. As a result, the problem is getting worse and worse. Unit 8 Films Unit 8 Page 16 Getting started Activity 1 Listen and read I'm bored. Do you have any plans this evening? No. What shall we do? How about seeing a film? Good idea. What shall we see? Let's take a look at the film section of the paper. It says that White Sands is showing at Kim Dom Cinema at 8 o'clock tonight. It's a horror film. That's too frightening for me. OK. They are also showing Crazy Coconut at Knop Can Cinema. What kind of film is it? It's a romantic comedy. What is it about? It's about a female professor and a male film star. They get shipwrecked on a desert island and have to live together. Although the professor hates the film star at first, she falls in love with him at the end. Who does it star? It stars Julia Roberts and Brad Pitt. What have the critics said about it? Most of them say it's very funny and entertaining. Hmm, I know. Why don't we decide when we get there? OK, good idea. Unit 8 Page 17 Getting Started Activity 1B Find the questions in the conversation that ask about crazy coconut Then listen, check and repeat the questions A what kind of film is it? B Who does it star? C What is it about? D What have the critics said about it? Unit 8 Page 17 Getting started Activity 2 
match the types of film with their definitions. Then listen, check, and repeat. One, a film that tries to make audiences laugh. D, comedy. Two, a film that features cartoon characters. F, animation. Three, a film that is set in the future, often featuring science. A, science fiction. Sci-fi. Four, a film that tells an exciting story about murder or crime. C, thriller. Five, a film which combines comedy with a love story. B, romantic comedy. Six. A film that shows real-life events or stories. E, documentary. Seven, a film in which strange and frightening things happen. H, horror. Eight, a film that usually features lots of stunts and fighting. G, action. Are there any other types of film you can add to the list? Unit eight, page nineteen. A closer look, one. Activity five. Listen and repeat the verbs. Pay attention to the sounds t, d, and id at the end of each verb. Played, watched, waited, danced, bored. Closed. Needed. Walked. Hated. Now, in pairs, put the words in the correct column. Unit eight. Page nineteen. A closer look. One. Activity six. Work in pairs. Ask and answer questions about the pictures. Then listen to the recording. One. She painted her room. Didn't she? No, she brushed it. Two, they washed the television, didn't they? No, they watched it. Three, she closed the window, didn't she? No, she opened it. Four, they pulled their motorbike, didn't they? No. They pushed it. Unit eight. Page twenty-one. Communication. Activity one. Listen to the conversation and fill in the blanks with the words you hear. Excuse me, Young. I'm doing a survey about favourite actors. Would it be okay if I asked you a few questions? Sure. Go ahead, Nick. Who do you think is the best actor? 
It's Tom Cruise. And who do you think is the best actress? I think Angelina Jolie is. Thank you. Unit eight. Page twenty-three. Skills two. Activity one. Nick and his father are talking about Tom Hanks, a Hollywood film star. Listen to their conversation and correct the following statements. Who is your favourite film star, Dad? Tom Hanks, of course. Tom Hanks? Who is he? He is one of the most famous and richest actors in Hollywood. Really? Has he won any awards? Yes, he has won the Oscar for Best Actor twice. Two Oscars! Amazing! He must be very handsome. No, he isn't. He isn't an attractive actor compared to other actors in Hollywood. However, most critics say that he is one of the best actors. What kind of roles does he often play? He often plays serious roles, such as a soldier in Saving Private Ryan, or a lawyer who has aides in Philadelphia. He also appears in many other entertaining films, such as Bachelor Party, The Man with One Red Shoe, etc. Can you recommend one of his best films? Of course, You've Got Mail. It's one of the biggest comedies of the 1990s. Unit eight. Page twenty-three. Skills two. Activity one. Nick and his father are talking about Tom Hanks, a Hollywood film star. Listen to their conversation and correct the following statements. Who is your favourite film star, Dad? Tom Hanks, of course. Tom Hanks? Who is he? He is one of the most famous and richest actors in Hollywood. Really? Has he won any awards? Yes, he has won the Oscar for Best Actor twice. Two Oscars! Amazing! He must be very handsome. No, he isn't. He isn't an attractive actor. Compared to other actors in Hollywood, however, most critics say that he is one of the best actors. What kind of roles does he often play? He often plays serious roles, such as a soldier in Saving Private Ryan, or a lawyer who has aides in Philadelphia. He also appears in many other entertaining films, such as Bachelor Party, The Man with One Red Shoe, etc. Can you recommend one of his best films? Of course, you've got mail. It's one of the biggest comedies of the 1990s. Unit ten, sources of energy. Unit ten, page thirty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Nam, I read yesterday that we all have a carbon footprint. Well, we all have footprints. We make them with our feet. <laughs> I know that. But this kind of footprint is about the negative effects we have on the environment. Right, it's in the news a lot these days. So our footprint is bigger when we use energy that produces carbon dioxide. That's bad for the environment. So it's better to have a smaller footprint, right? Right, Nam. Non-renewable energy sources like coal, natural gas, and oil. Produce a lot of carbon dioxide. Those sources are going to run out soon too. So they're different to wind, hydro, and solar. Yes, they're all sources of energy too, 
but they're renewable. That means we can't use them all up. They will last forever. Do you have a big carbon footprint, Mai? Mine's small. I recycle the products I use, and I go everywhere by bike. We have solar panels on our roof at home to catch the sun's energy too. Oh no! I think my footprint is big, and not just because of these big shoes. Unit ten. Page thirty nine. Getting started. Activity two. Now listen and repeat the words and phrases. Wind. Coal. Natural gas. Nuclear. Biogas. Oil. Hydro. Solar. Unit ten. Page forty. A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen and repeat. Which words are stressed on the first syllable, and which ones are stressed on the second syllable? Put them in the appropriate columns. Dangerous. Easily. Abundant. Enormous. Expensive. Energy. Limited. Plentiful. Convenient. Unit ten. Page forty. A closer look. One. Activity five. Read the following sentences, and mark the stress syllable. In the underlined words. Then listen, check, and repeat. One. Coal will be replaced by another renewable resource. Two. Wind power is convenient and abundant. Three. Natural gas is limited, and it is harmful to the environment. Four. Solar energy is plentiful, and it can be replaced easily. Five. Nuclear power is expensive and dangerous. Unit ten. Page forty-five. Skills two. Activity two. Listen to the passage and tick true or false to the statements. Energy is fundamental to human beings. Many poor people in developing countries do not have modern sources of energy, like electricity or natural gas, with which their life can be improved. People who live in mountainous areas have to gather wood for fuel. This takes a lot of time. 
For many people living in rural areas, biogas is the largest energy resource available. The main use of biogas is for cooking and heating but it can also provide energy for public transport. As biogas is smoke-free, it helps solve the problem of indoor air pollution. Moreover, it's made from plant waste and animal manure. They cost almost nothing. The tendency to use renewable energy sources in developing countries is on the increase, as non-renewable ones are running out. In the future, the wind and the sun will be used as the most important environmentally friendly energy sources. Unit 10 Page 45 Skills 2 Activity 3 Listen to the passage again and complete the sentences. Energy is fundamental to human beings. Many poor people in developing countries do not have modern sources of energy like electricity or natural gas with which their life can be improved. People who live in mountainous areas have to gather wood for fuel. This takes a lot of time. For many people living in rural areas, biogas is the largest energy resource available. The main use of biogas is for cooking and heating, but it can also provide energy for public transport. As biogas is smoke-free, it helps solve the problem of indoor air pollution. Moreover, it's made from plant waste and animal manure. They cost almost nothing. The tendency to use renewable energy sources in developing countries is on the increase, as non-renewable ones are running out. In the future, the wind and the sun will be used as the most important environmentally friendly energy sources. Unit 11 Travelling in the Future Unit 11 Page 48 Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and read. Wow! Driverless cars already exist. I can't believe it. Yes, they look so cool. What will be next? I'm sure they'll also be flying cars. Does that mean we'll still have traffic jams in the sky? <laughs> yes, maybe there will be. No. I think they'll have SSS. It's a sky safety system. It'll stop everyone from crashing. It'll help them avoid traffic jams too. I'd prefer to have a jetpack. I'll wear it on my back. It doesn't take lots of space and I'll use mine to fly anywhere easily. Do you think you can use it in bad weather? No. I don't think it will be pleasant. Then perhaps a teleporter is the best. It makes you disappear, then you reappear in another place seconds later. Wow! Your idea is really imaginative, Veronica. <laughs> yes, that program really got me thinking. I do worry about one thing. How much fuel will these means of transport use? Will pollution be much worse? Don't worry, Mai. The future is green. Solar energy will power everything. Unit 11 Page 51 A Closer Look 1 Activity 4 Listen and tick the correct box. 
One. What will be next? Two. Do you think you can use it in bad weather? Three. How much fuel will these means of transport use? Four. Will pollution be much worse? Unit eleven. Page fifty one. A closer look. One. Activity six. Practice these questions. Work out whether they have rising or falling intonation. Then listen and repeat. One. Have you ever heard of bullet trains? Two. Will you be a doctor in the future? Three. What would you like to drink? Four. Who do you think will win? Five. Do you think we will use driverless cars in the future? Unit eleven. Page fifty one. A closer look. Two. Activity one. Listen again to part of the conversation. What words do Fub, Veronica, and Mai use when talking about the future? Complete the rules in the box. Wow, driverless cars already exist. I can't believe it. Yes, they look so cool. What will be next? I'm sure they'll also be flying cars. Does that mean we'll still have traffic jams in the sky? <laughs> yes, maybe there will be. No, I think they'll have S S S. It's a sky safety system. It'll stop everyone from crashing. It'll help them avoid traffic jams too. I'd prefer to have a jetpack. I'll wear it on my back. It doesn't take lots of space, and I'll use mine to fly anywhere easily. Unit eleven. Page fifty-five. Skills two. Activity two. Now listen and check your answers. I'm here at Noi Bai Airport to tell you about this amazing flying car. It just landed here at the airport 15 minutes ago. So this vehicle. Is called TFX. It was designed in 2013, but it will take a couple of years before you can own yours. It's a kind of driverless car and aeroplane. It has many benefits. With its automated system, the car can avoid traffic. It drives at 300 kilometers per hour. Impressive, isn't it? It has four seats, so your family or friends can join the ride. The coolest thing is learning to drive a TFX is simple. You'll be able to do it just after a few hours. Unit eleven, page fifty-five. Skills two. Activity three. Listen again and answer the following questions.
I'm here at Noi Bai Airport to tell you about this amazing flying car. It just landed here at the airport 15 minutes ago. So this vehicle is called TFX. It was designed in 2013, but it will take a couple of years before you can own yours. It's a kind of driverless car and aeroplane. It has many benefits. With its automated system, the car can avoid traffic. It drives at 300 kilometers per hour. Impressive, isn't it? It has four seats, so your family or friends can join the ride. The coolest thing is learning to drive a TFX is simple. You'll be able to do it just after a few hours. Unit 12. An overcrowded world. Unit 12. Page 58. Getting started. Activity 1. Listen and read. Welcome back, Fung. Brazil is amazing, isn't it? It is now. It's very diverse. What do you mean? The beaches in the south are so peaceful, while cities like Rio are overcrowded. What about the people? In Rio, some people are wealthy, with high living standards, but there are also poor people who live in slums. Life must be difficult in the slums. Yes, the slums are overcrowded and crime is a major problem there. Crime affects everyone in the city, doesn't it? It does, Nam, but there are probably other problems in the slums too, like disease and poor health care. Wow, did you see that yourself? No, visitors don't usually visit the slums, it's too dangerous. There are probably fewer things to see and do in the slums, aren't there? Yes, however, I love Brazil and I had a very good time there. Sure, it's a real experience, isn't it? It is. Unit 12 Page 59 Getting started Activity 2 Match the words in the box with the pictures. Then, listen and repeat the words. 1. Overcrowded 2. Wealthy 3. Peaceful 4. Poor 5. Spacious Unit 12 Page 61 A Closer Look 1 Activity 5 Listen and mark the stress in the words. Spacious Stressful Increase Shortage Pollution Hungry Support Disease Poverty Nutrition Violence Healthcare Listen again and repeat Unit 12 Page 60 
A Closer Look 1 Activity 1 Listen and number the words in the order you hear them. 1. Crime 2. Malnutrition 3. Poverty 4. Shortage 5. Disease 6. Space 7. Dense 8. Healthcare